It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beatsy. Skip, what are you doing? Stop digging, Skip. Skip, what did you find? A fucking dinosaur? It is a very rare find. There are some who have passed for 30 years and they have not seen this site. You know, they've all walked by it. They live there, right next door. Good old Blenjuda. She's been there forever. <laughs> Blenjuda. Did, what is, can you believe there's a dinosaur over here? I'm sorry, I don't understand what the hell you're saying. You're like deep French, you know? Bochetto, who has a self-taught passion for paleontology, started digging it up with Skip. Skip, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Let's get into the news. Welcome to the Mark Inspire Show. We're here every single day, 9 a.m. in the morning. Join me as we get into it. Tomorrow and be a little late. I got to drop off Maggie with that stupid noggin. Got a St. Bernard. She has a hard time walking through the doorways. We had to get a new frame job done. <laughs> you know, they had the carpenter here. He's opening up walls just so Maggie can walk around comfortably. Because that head, guys. <sighs> of course, I joke. It's not that big, it's, except it's pretty massive. 70 million year old dinosaur skeleton discovered by a man walking his dog. We got to read this one, right? Skip, what are you doing? Stop digging, Skip. Skip, what did you find? A fucking dinosaur? You know? Let's see. A man who took his dog out for a walk in France two years ago. He took, took two years to dig that one up, guys. He's been there two years. I read to Skip. I told you to. Skip, I told you I don't. Don't dig into the ground. You cannot dig into the ground. You know, to get the dinosaur. They got a freaking dinosaur. Yeah. Two years it took for Skip to dig up the dinosaur. Skip, what are you doing? You can't uh, do it, uh, dig the ground into the floor. You get in there, you see the dinosaur? Guys, Damien Brachado stumbled upon a massive 70 million year old fossil when his dog Skip was digging it up in France. It turned out to be a nearly complete skeleton of a long necked titanosaur. You guys know all about titanosaurs, right? I'll school you. You guys want to get all the information. That's why you tune into the Mark Inspire show. It's for the positivity news slash comedy vibe, you know, and the French accent. You know, some people tune in just for the French accent. Oh, I wonder when he's going to go French again. <laughs> but shit, now, you know, 35 years old, you know, shit, the unexpected. You're not going to keep doing it because you don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, the unexpected discovery was made in the forest of Montelliers near his home in Cruzzi, a village in southern France. And the territory around Cruzzi is rich in fossils of dinosaurs and other species. Apparently, Skip, digging it up. Bochetto told ABC News in a translated statement because he couldn't freaking speak English. You could tell me you better put the dinosaur, you know? They had to get a special guy in for that one. They did the sign language, too. But the guy that did the sign language, he didn't even have a sign language license. He was just conning everybody. He's going... He did the Uma Thurman. <laughs> That's when we knew he wasn't really a sign language expert. Uh, 28 years, Cruzzi has been supplying and building one of the largest collections of dinosaur fossils from the Upper Cretaceous period in France. Look at that noggin right there. Is that a noggin? I don't know what that is. That guy's got a lizard on his shoulder. He should run. <laughs> that lizard's going to bite you. Buddy, you got a lizard. <laughs> Titanosaurs, members of the sauropod dinosaur family. I know you've been sticking around waiting for that. You wanted to know, what is a titanosaur? You know, we can't wait for Mark to get to that part. I know, I'm sorry when I get into this lapstick. You know, I start joking around, and then I forget to tell you the whole story about the, the titanosaur. They roamed the Earth from the late Jurassic epoch in 163 million years ago to 145 million years ago, give or take. You know, we got that down with carbon dating because that's really accurate. Uh, the end of the Cretaceous period, which lasted from 145 million to 66 million years ago. Again, guys, same footnote, asterisk. Uh, the long necked dinosaurs are the largest terrestrial animals known. The, wait a second, I thought we had the Bronchiosaurus. The titanosaur is bigger than the bronchiosaurus? Let's, let's figure it out here. 
Britannica reports that the titosaurs grew to the same size as modern whales. The fossils, which include 40 different species, have been found on all continents except Antarctica, which no one can go and explore anyway, you know. Good luck, military. Turn your, your plane around or we'll shoot you down. Well, yeah, I just want to go see the, you know, the Alaskan mountains. Sir, we're going to shoot you down here in the ocean. I'm just someone on a plane on a Cessna. I'm just going down to Antarctica to do it. That's the first time I survived. You know, I had to jump out of the plane because they took off the wing with that one rocket just to kind of give us... A, it was supposed to be just a flyby missile. We'll just kind of scare them, get them to turn around. They hit my wing. I had to do a jump out. Eject! I ejected out of the seat in the middle of the Antarctic Ocean. Thank God I'm like Wim Huff. So I was just like, I got it, <laughs> you know? Boschetto, who has a self-taught passion for paleontology, started digging it up with Skip. Skip, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> oh, goodness. He exposed the bone fossils, which led to the excavation of, of a 70% complete, 30-foot-long fossilized titanosaur. It happened one morning like any other during an ordinary walk, Bichetta told... I, I swear, if he goes into that, Skip starts digging and finds the freaking dinosaur, guys. Like, I'm going to have a fucking flip out over here. All right. He told friends bleh, in February while walking the dog, Skip, a landslide. Oh, okay. That's better, because I was about to say. A landslide on the edge of the cliff exposed the bones of various skeletons. It didn't have anything to do with Skip. I thought Skip was getting into it. You gotta wash those freaking paws when you get back in to the house that day. What in the heck is this? Is that the, the nog, the inside of the nog? I don't know what the hell that is. They were fallen bones. Therefore, isolated, we realized after a few days of excavations that they were connected bones. Bouchetta, along with a member of the Archaeological and Paleontological Cultural Association at the Kruzzi Museum. That's a mouthful, Joanne. <laughs> They kept the findings secret in order to protect the paleontological site while they excavated the massive skeleton. You know, this is not the funny stuff. Bouchetta hopes the people who visit Kretzi Museum will see the titanosaur, and now the fossil has been excavated and protected for study. It is a flagship piece for the general public to be able to admire a dinosaur in anatomical connection. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. That's the tooth. Since the discovery two years ago, Boschetto says he's left his job in the energy sector and hopes to pursue a master's de degree in paleontology to continue his work in Kruzzi. So what's he want to just start digging it up with Skippy? Hey, Skip, go dig over there. You have to dig the gun. We have to find another dinosaur. You know, Francis Fage, founder of the Kruzzi Museum, told France Bleu that Boschetto's exceptional discovery proves he has an eye for dinosaur research. I hope so, you got out of the energy sector, you know, to do it. It is a very rare find. There are some who have passed for 30 years and they have not seen this site. You know, they've all walked by it. They lived there, right next door. Good old Bladuda, she's been there forever. <laughs> Bladuda, did, what is, can you believe there's a dinosaur over here? I'm sorry, I don't understand what the hell you're saying. You're like deep French, you know? Deep French. <laughs> that could be the funniest thing I've ever said. Deep French. Right? This is the What does a deep French person sound like? I just made up a new term. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment, and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.